Well, they got a lot of beta fish, but they don't really have the one that uh, I like. I don't know where else to go. We got it here a little bit late. It's kind of halfway did. through Saturday already. They said that they saw a lot of betas in the beginning of the day. I do know one other place that we could go. Where? Denver. Denver? Yeah. Denver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Denver for the day. He's really tired, but I'm used to it, so. It's 3.30 a.m. <laughs> so here's the concept. Two days ago, I wanted to find a unique betta fish. Not a normal betta fish, I wanted to find a dope betta fish for the new tank that I just got. I wanted something you couldn't find at your local pet store. <laughs> nice, bro. So the first thing I did was go to Sean. Sean said he knew a guy. That guy, his name's Ben. Hey, Ben. Hey there, Sean. Well, we want to know if we can come see you this Tuesday. Yes, I'll be available Tuesday to meet up with you guys. He's a betta fish dealer in Denver who happens to have some pretty rare betta fish and was willing to hook us up. With that being said, that day, we bought a flight. We bought a flight to leave at 5 a.m. and come back at 9 p.m. with one end goal in mind. Visit a bunch of random aquarium stores and find a dope betta fish. Appreciate it. Okay, we're going in Denver to buy betta fish. This is my first time in Colorado. Where are we going? It's really snowy out here. We flew all the way to Denver for one day. We're super tired because we haven't slept just to come to this house. <laughs> We're here, this is Ben. And then you said these betas are imported from Thailand? Yes. So I mean, there's a lot of rare ones, right? Yes, there's many rare ones. Uh, people, there's many variety that people like and people don't like. It yeah. depends on which customer you have. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Well, let's check them out. So there they are. That is a selection of beta fish right there. Oh, dude, look at that one. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's sick. That's not something you normally see. These are insane. That fan, is rare. Fan tail beta fish. Is that your rarest beta? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. This is only found from Indonesia. Right. If ever found in Thailand, they will not sell it. Really? Because beta, anything rare in Thailand is very popular. That one's so dope. That's a cool one too. That one's dope. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one we flew all the way from Dallas to come get. I don't know. I don't know what the name is. That's a super sick beta fish. All right, well, we picked out what we're getting. We flew from Dallas to Denver for the most pointless reason in the world, <laughs> but I love it. No, it was 110% worth it just because uh, I'm always gonna remember this and this video is gonna go down as one of the most sporadic videos on my channel. <laughs> we just got two betas, one for one for Mike, yep. and then this one for the new beta tank. Yeah. This beta is gonna go down in history, guys. Here's where I need y'all's help. You're gonna comment down below and let me know of a great name for this beta fish. We've gotta take a thumbnail though, but I wanna take a thumbnail by an airplane. Only if you guys knew the lengths we took to make these videos. We just got access to get on to an airport with a private jet so we could take a thumbnail. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, we're at this random koi and pond store in Colorado, and yeah, that's about it. This is their freshwater aquarium room. There's like, I don't know, like 15, 20 tanks. And then their salt water spreads across the entire store, but then they got ponds out here. And then there's obviously some coral, and this got a lot of systems to grow plants, which is really cool. Like, oh yeah, these are pretty much like big plant beds. We've got stores that have this stuff in Texas. Oh, there's there's the koi. Oh, that's, that's a goldfish right there. That one's a goldfish. There, there's a goldfish, and there's a koi. Oh wow, that's a big goldfish. Just a random place in Colorado. Oh, oh, oh. There they are. That is awesome. These, these are really pretty cool. And then they've got dividers back here that pretty much separate all the fish. So we've got goldfish in here. And look, oh my goodness, look, these are really pretty fish. We've got some smaller koi back in here, some more fantail goldfish. Oh my god. Wow, how deep is this thing? Five feet. Five feet? Oh. Wow. 
Wow. That's one of the bigger ponds I think I've ever come across while filming. And then they've got a mini one right here that still looks to be deeper than my pond. Because that one back there is five feet deep and it's got freaking massive koi in it. Okay, now we're at a random store called the Fish Crew in Colorado. I don't know how we got here either. Okay. <laughs> but this is something you could put a shark in. Like, this is huge. So yeah, this is our freshwater tank. Um, we keep it pretty heavily planted. It's probably about time for a trim though. Um, and then behind you there, we have the saltwater tank. With a few corals, we're slowly trying to build it up and get some more cool guys. Um, this logo down here is probably my favorite in that tank right now. I'd say probably the most popular guy in this tank is gonna be this big old clam. Everybody loves seeing that guy whenever uh, they come by the shop, especially if it's their first time in. We've got a few different tanks. We've got one nice Red Sea. Custom tanks like the Planet right there. Do we do some complete setups? So that way people can just have a tank that's already set up and cycled and take it home with them. A work in progress. <laughs> but we've got freshwater, South American, African cichlids, um, Tetra wall here. Um, that's our YouTube studio um, where we work on a few informational videos. We've got some plants here on the plant table, which is usually pretty popular. We have people even come up from Denver just to see the plants. We're big into the bonsai tree look right now. So we've got quite a few options as far as bonsai trees go. Those are a lot of fun to do, like some Anubius nana petite or some java fern on the moss. Salt water here. We've got our colony table, our SPS table, which is a little low on acros right now. We should be getting some more in. And then we've got some nice frags, including some mummy eye chalice, as well as some sebastria that we just fragged up. We give people the option to get a nice discount on some really cool corals. We've got favias in there now, um, but we're running a little low, so it's probably about time to do something else. Look at that you. Hey. Wow. It's starting to come out. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're at something called the Butterfly Pavilion. I don't know, Sean says it's dope, so let's do it. Authorized personnel. I mean, oh my God, that's a big spider. Oh, oh it's gonna be okay, God. it's gonna be okay. There's a lot of them, but all they're right. all in cages. I don't do spiders. Does it ever do anything? Um, yeah, so if you blow on them, some of them are Smart. But sometimes in movies. Dude, I think this is my same friend from before. That's sick. Hey there, homie. I think it likes me. This is Madagascar hissing cockroach, real chill. A, a hissing cockroach? Yeah, does so it, it might hiss, but it can't hurt you. Like a cat. Yeah, so what they do is they force air over their spiracles. That's how they breathe. Yeah, so this one seems really chill. The males tend to kind of posture and be way more hissy. It's called it's called a bird eater. The live bird eater. And it's a spider, so does it eat birds? Um, so they are capable of eating birds if they kind of fall down onto the floor. But they're so like if a hummingbird just came by, I'd just munch it. Uh, if the hummingbird was like dying. That had a bad that. case of the munchies, that spider would just. You, you show him. I, I don't want to show him. I can't walk over this. <laughs> Are you sure he can't like. 100%. This is if like he could a... eat a bird, he could probably break the glass. So we'll give him like cockroaches and crickets and like. My finger. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh. Oh my god. How are you getting so close to that? Oh my, oh my, oh my. This thing is so cool. And he'll get bigger. And in this tank, we also have some uh, safe program Acropora. So those are Acropora Stratocornis. So they are endangered and having stack from coral. Wow. So we've been growing those. And then come November to early next year, we're actually going to be getting endangered um, or imperiled coral from the Florida Reef Trap. Whoa. 
That's an octopus. Okay, so wait, you can find these. These are in the U.S. too, right? Yeah, so um, like Florida. I know they have these guys Florida. came from the Gulf of Mexico. It's the only species well, I mean, of uh, uh, giant isopods, Bathynomus giganteus, is only found right. in the Gulf of Mexico. This thing is yeah. huge. What does it eat? Uh, these guys are kind of divas, so in the wild they would um, really exist on whale falls. So there's whole communities of animals that exist just on whale falls. They gorge themselves and then they can go years without eating again. Here at Butterfly Pavilion, um, we feed these guys pompano, mackerel, mullet, really just kind of oily Culver's? fish. Culver's? Oh, I haven't, but I should try it. That's so sick. You can see the gray, which is their blood is a light bluish color. And you can see that they do have eight legs. We're gonna wreck them. Exactly. They are more closely related to arachnids than they are to crabs. There are only four known species of uh, horseshoe crab. One is an Atlantic species, which is this guy, Limulus polyphemus, and then the other three are Asian species. What is this aquarium store number three, four? Merman. 18 year old kid owns this. And that was the last aquarium of the day. One last, one last mission. Sneak these bad boys through the airport. All right, here's the real question. It, will they take betta fish? Two betas, <laughs> success. And that is how it works.